Hello everybody, today we are going to study a new device popularly named camcorder. A camcorder formerly known as video camera recorder is an electronic device that is used for taking videos through a camera. The video film thus captured is recorded in the device so that it can be replayed in the future as and when needed by the user. Today, majority of the devices including cameras, mobiles, etc are capable of capturing and recording videos. But the term camcorder is used for portable and lightweight device having high quality video capture and recording as its primary function. Today's lecture is based on the camcorder and is divided into three phases. The first phase describes the history and evolution of camcorder devices. The second phase describes the technology and the key components involved to make the camcorder work. The third phase discusses the cl classification of camcorder devices and its various uses. The earliest types of the camcorder device were tape based which recorded analog signals onto a video tape cassette. In the 21st century, digital recording became the norm with tape being replaced with other storage media such as internal flash memory and SD card. Starting with the history, video cameras originally designed for television broadcast were large and heavy, mounted on special pedestals and wired to remote recorders located in the separate rooms just because of their size and sheer weight. It was not possible to accommodate the recorders along with the camera and therefore they were kept in the separate rooms. As the technology advanced, out of studio video recording was made possible, the use of compact video cameras and portable video recorders. Earlier, video cameras had two units, camera and a recorder unit. Specialized video cassette recorders were introduced by both JVC and Sony with, for the purpose of outdoor shooting. In 1982, Sony released the Betacam system. A key component of this system was a single camera recorder unit that eliminated the need for a cable between the camera and recorder dramatically improving the freedom of the camera operator because the earlier two persons were required now with the help of a single person single camera operator it was possible to carry both video as well as recorder beta cam used the same cassette format as beta max but had a considerably far faster running time that enhanced quality and reliability Beta cam quickly became the standard for both broadcast news and in-studio video editing. Considering the growing home entertainment demand and business, Sony released the first camcorder for the general consumer in 1983. The Beta movie BMC 100P used a Betamax cassette and typically rested on the shoulder of the operator due to a design that could not be controlled with a single-handed grip. During the same year, JVC released the first camcorder based on compact VHS-C format. Next came the digital format. The advent of the digital technology emerged with the release of Sony D1, a device that recorded data in an uncompressed form, thereby requiring an enormous amount of storage. In 1992, MX used D1 form factor to create DCT, the first digital video format that utilized data compression. The compression utilized the discrete cosine transform algorithm that is used in most modern commercial digital video formats. In 1995, Sony, JVC, Panasonic, these are the three popular companies manufacturing video cameras and other video camera manufacturers, manufacturers launched DV which quickly became a de facto standard for home video production, independent filmmaking and citizen journalism. Next came the high definition. Continuing the advancement in the technology, Panasonic 
launched DVC Pro HD in 2000 expanding the DV codec to support high definition as the name implies are used in high quality video presentations to capture high speed like car racing and other adventurous events. In 2003, Sony, JVC, Canon and Sharp introduced HDV pursued as the first truly affordable HD video format due to its utilization of inexpensive mini DV cassettes. So, what we observe is the Comcarder has grown from a bulky two unit analog device to a compact lightweight digital imager as well as recorder in a single unit as of now. The Comcarder contains three major components lens, imager and recorder. The lens gathers and focuses light on the imager. The imager is usually a CCD or CMOS sensor on modern Comcarder converts the incident light into an electrical signal. Finally, the recorder converts the electrical signal into video and encodes it into a storable form. The common terminology for the optics and the imager part are referred to as camera section. Next is the lens. Lens is the first component in the light path. The Comcarder's optics generally have one or more of the following adjustments. Aperture, aperture is one adjustment or iris to regulate the exposure and to control the depth of the field. Another is zoom, zoom is to control the focal length and angle of the view. Third is shutter speed. The shutter speed is used to regulate the exposure and to maintain desired motion portrayal. Fourth is gain to amplify the signal strength in low light conditions. Next is neutral density filter to regulate the exposure. In consumer units, the all the above adjustments are often automatically controlled by the Comcarder's electronics but can be adjusted manually if desired. The professional units on the other hand offer user control of all major optical functions. It is essential for any user to know the operational command before operating the camera. The next component of the video camera is imager. As explained earlier, the imager converts the light into electrical signal lens projects an image onto the imager surface exposing the photosensitive array to light. The light exposure is converted into electrical charge. At the end of the timed exposure, the imager converts the accumulated charge into a continuous analog voltage at the imager's output terminals. After scan out is complete, the photocytes are reset to start the exposure process for the next video frame. The third component is recorder. The recorder is responsible for writing the video signal onto a recording medium such as magnetic video tape or flash memory or any other storage device. The record function involves many signal processing steps and historically the recording process introduced some distortion and noise into the stored video such that playback of the stored signal may not return the same characteristics or detail as the live video. So, all primitive comcorders have recorder controlling section which allows the user to control the comcorder, switch the recorder into playback mode for reviewing the recorded footage and an image control section which controls exposure, focus and white balance. The image recorded need not be limited to what appeared in the viewfinder. For documentation of the events such as used by the police, the field of view overlays such things as the time and date of the recording along the top and the bottom of the image, the person who has recorded this video, such things as police car or constable to which the recorder has been allotted may also appear. Also, the speed of the car at the time of the recording compass direction at the time of the recording and the geographical coordinators may also be shown along with the video. All these things are possible in today's technology. These are not kept to world standard fields, month field, 
day year may be seen as well as day month year besides the iso standard year month day the next thing we are going to discuss is the recording format the recording format of a modern camcorder is in digital format the storage of images videos is in frames organized as two dimensional pixels of rows and columns each pixel may be assigned one of the thousands of the colors there are thousands of the colors to be assigned or one of the thousands of the colors may be assigned to every pixel various recording formats are available as per the user requirements some recording formats store video in low resolution requiring less storage some formats use compression technology requiring less storage without compromising on image quality it is possible to record and then replay on any available camcorder however if the recorded information is transferred to the computer for editing you need software and the computer system to decode the format and make the recorded information available to the user as frame by frame or continuous video the editing is needed over the raw video to delete the unwanted or crippled frames add extra images or pictures add date and time mix video of the other locations and etc in short the editing gives a professional look to the recorded video it is possible to perform editing only if the software on windows or mac understands the recorded format and is able to decode the video frames the next section we are going to study is digital camcorders and the operating system that means what is the relationship of camcorder and the operating system the recording done using the camcorder is opened by the desktop for editing and viewing sophisticated softwares are developed by the vendors for the above purpose these softwares generally support windows and mac operating system using the software the user can perform editing of the recorded video on these operating systems the users of the other operating system often are unable to receive support for these devices however these days there are open source products such as cinelera and kino written for gnu oblic linux operating system do allow full editing of some digital formats on alternative operating systems like linux these uh, operating systems have softwares to edit digital video streams in particular in short the recording done by the camcorder can be stored replayed or edited only if the vendor has developed the operating system specific software to support the above functions next we talk about the consumer market of the camcorder as the mass consumer market favors ease of use portability and price most of the consumer grade camcorders sold today emphasize handling and automation features over raw audio video performance thus the majority of devices capable of functioning as camcorders are camera phones or compact digital camera for which video is only a feature or secondary capability same is the case of some pocket cameras and mobile phones some camcorders are also shock proof dust proof and waterproof designed to work in deep sea area or designed to work in a desert however devices solely intended for motion video have also followed an evolutionary path driven by relentless miniaturization and cost reduction made possible by progress in design and manufacturing miniaturization conflicts with the imager's ability to gather light and designers have delicately balanced improvement in the sensor sensitivity sensitivity with sensor size reduction shrinking the overall camera imager and the optics while maintaining reasonably noise free video in broad daylight indoor or dim light shooting is generally uh noisy and in such condition artificial light is recommended in camcorders mechanical controls cannot scale below a certain size and manual camera operations have given way to camera control automation for every shooting parameter 
like focus, aperture, shutter speed, white balance, etc. On the other side, at the high end of consumer market, there is greater emphasis on user control and advanced shooting mode. More expensive consumer camcorders generally offer manual exposure control, HDMI output and external audio input. Progressive scan frame rates 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second and 35, 30 frames per second is common in most of the camcorders. In order to maximize the low light capability, color reproduction and frame resolution, few manufacturers offer CCD oblique CMOS camcorders which mimic the three element imager design used in the professional equipment. Nearly all camcorders sold today are digital. Tape based camcorders are no longer popular. Since tapeless models SD card and internal CCD SSD cost almost the same with much greater convenience and therefore, the tape based models are obsolete nowadays. For example, the video captured on SD card can be transferred to the computer much faster than from digital tape. In some parts of the globe, camcorders with tape based sto storage might still be available due to lower purchasing power or greater price sensitivity of consumers in these areas. In short, the camcorders are used for home entertainments to capture home events like birthdays, weddings to produce low cost films. On the other side, the higher end camcorders can be used by professionals to produce animation films advertisements and various other video productions. These days, camcorders are also available with built-in projector. In 2011, Sony has launched its HDR PJ range of HD camcorders. The HDR PJ 10, 30 and 50, it was the first camcorder in the world to incorporate a small image projector on the side of the unit. This feature allows showing videos to a group of viewers without using a television or a full size projector or even a computer. Another advancement in the technology of camcorder is 3D camcorder that is three dimensional camcorder. These days the three dimensional camcorders are also available for three dimensional video capture and recording. Some camcorders are 3D ready others have option to upgrade their 2D versions to 3 dimensional version by attaching a conversion lens as an additional option. Last, we are going to study the various uses of the camcorders. Camcorders have found use in nearly all corners of electrical media from electronic news organizations to TV to current affairs production in locations away from distribution infrastructure camcorders are invaluable for initial video acquisition. Like some building is made, what is the progress of the building made so far? Using a camcorder, we can assess the progress of the construction and online communicate to the headquarters that this is the progress of the building construction so far. Subsequently, the video is transmitted electronically to a studio or production center for broadcast. Schedule events such as official press conference where a video infrastructure is readily available or can be feasibly deployed in advance are still covered by studio type video cameras. The digital video cameras are also used for surveillance of large territory malls, shops where thousands of cameras are installed and report cases of theft, fire or any exceptional event. The cameras capture video which in turn is transferred to a remote PC and stored in the hard disk of that computer. The video can be viewed online or offline later. Digital video cameras are also used in educational institutes to monitor classrooms and corridors for maintaining discipline. Digital video cameras or camcorders can also be used to transmit images over web page so that anybody across the world or globe can view the recording online through the internet. In this type of application, the video camera or camcorder is referred to as webcam. 
the digital video camera are used in video phone calls to transmit images over the internet the concept is extended over video conferencing where the participant each participant sits with a video camera on the pc using the software the users can share his or her video and talk to each other over the internet the digital video cameras are camcorders another name are used for authentication in secured application using the advanced software the recorded image can also be used for face recognition so that only authorized users get access to a secured facility these days these video recorders are available in the form of small miniaturized devices also called spy pen these devices look and work like a ordinary pen with a built in camera and storage capacity they are capable of video recording of the conversation and also work like a digital writing system these devices are also called digital writing systems with a special type of paper the hand written input given on the sheet of paper the uh, contents of the on the paper are then transferred to the pc through wired or wireless connection the next Uh, advancement in the technology of uh, digital writing systems is the graphics tablet a graphics tablet also called a digitizing tablet is a flat touch sensitive tablet used with a stylus anything drawn or written on the graphics tablet is transferred to a pc in graphical form these tablets are used for by artists graphic designers with image editing software to create original photos or modify existing digital photographs the another type of digitizer is the signature capturing device the pattern of the signature made by a person is matched for with pre recorded signatures in the database the intelligent techniques are applied to reduce false rejections or false active acceptance rates to cover the minor differences arising from one signature to another signature and to capture the common characteristics of two signature to identify that both the signatures are made by one person the signature capturing devices therefore are very popular and are used to authorize credit card purchase in any shop restaurant or any other place so in short what we have studied today is the camcorder and various digital writing systems Thank you.